guys, it's Jessica Hayes. So I have put together a fall fashion lookbook and as per usual, it's all black because that's what I wear. But I've been collecting a bunch of items for my fall wardrobe from all of my different favorite online retailers and I'm about to show them to you. So let's just jump right in. So this little number is certainly a staple for me. I definitely love that this is shiny and the zip up the front, it is not too short or too long. It's kind of a little more high-waisted. So this one is gonna be awesome for wearing with either band t-shirts and over-the-knee boots or with dressier lacy tops for more of a going out style look. This absolutely is my most favorite piece from this haul. I have been seeing a lot of patent leather jackets trending all on all of the online shops that I look at. I did buy a blank NYC one before I bought this, but it was way too big in the sleeves and way too boxy. Uh, so when I saw this on Misguided, I was like, yes, yes, I have to have this. I have a ton of leather jackets, but this is the first patent leather one that I have and I love this little kind of detail just right there as well. I love this sheer mesh bodysuit from Misguided with the bell sleeves. It's kind of a theme. Sleeves are kind of my thing right now. I've always loved this bell sleeve. It just gives it a little more of a flowy kind of gothy look to it. So I like that one for under stuff, under little slip dresses that you wanna make a little more fall like or just under a high-waisted skirt as well. Wear like a cute bralette or something underneath it. These vinyl pants are going to be definitely another full staple. Just with big oversized band t-shirts or just an oversized black t-shirt and then maybe even match it with my patent leather jacket as well. But I've always been terrified of these kind of pants because I just assumed that they would make me look bigger or curvier than I am. They're just really nice and figure hugging these ones. They are you know, a little bit of an effort to get on, but when they're on, they are on, and they are a statement, for sure. This oversized v-neck top is pretty much a must-have necessity. It's pretty basic, but I just love that it has this little choker detail with the o-ring on it. So basically you can wear it pretty big and oversized. Like, you know, if you're wearing leggings, you don't want your this bit to be showing. I feel like the butt and at least the crotch have to be covered if you're wearing leggings. That's just my rule, but. So yeah, I've been wearing this with just leggings or I'll tie it up just to make it cute with like jeans or something so it's not too baggy or even tuck it into skirts as well. So this is yet another one with some interesting sleeve details. I love how this bodysuit has the slits down the arms as well so you can let a little bit of your arms show as well but it's still long sleeve and fall appropriate. I like this one, you know, maybe as always tucked into high-waisted jeans or a skirt as well. My only pet peeve is it has a g-string bodysuit which I don't know, sometimes those just get to me, but I do understand they definitely look better. Jeans, because you don't get that line, but man, it's so uncomfortable. So thick in your butt.
Mid-length pleather skirt is pretty much a staple also in my wardrobe. I love that this one's really nice and soft as well. Um, some of the other ones that I have are, are really tight and uncomfortable. So this is super comfortable. This is a skirt that I'd love to wear out for dinner or something. You know, wear it with a dressy top or even wear it with like a band t-shirt and a big fluffy faux fur jacket and that's really cute as well. These jeans, my gosh, I have been looking for a pair of the lace-up high-waist jeans for quite some time. I actually bought some off Revolve that were like pretty expensive, but they looked really promising and I they arrived and they were just like, nope, not at all. So when I saw these ones on Misguided for like a third of the price, I jumped on it and they fit like a glove and are so, so freaking comfy. So I will be wearing these ones a lot. Probably more so with crop tops so that you can see this really cute detail, the little lace up right at the front of the jean as well. And there's this bad boy from Zara. I feel like, yes, I do have quite a few faux fur black jackets in my wardrobe already, but I just liked the length that this one hit. A lot of my fur jackets are either cropped or really kind of long and sit underneath the butt. So I liked how this one was just kind of a medium length as well. And then it's got different like patchworks of fur on it as well. So you've got this long shaggy black fur and then you've got this short fur up there as well so it's got a little more texture than just your standard black faux fur jacket and the clasps that do up at the front are actually like good and close in between so i feel like if i was cold i could definitely do this up and actually give myself some warmth with this jacket as well Back to the sleeves again. I have had this top from Revolve in my shopping cart for so long. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting and hoping that it would go on sale, but it still hasn't. Personally, it's a little more than I like to spend on a top, but I feel like I'll wear this one for a really long time. I just love the sleeve detail on it. Obviously sleeves are a little bit of a running theme with this fall lookbook, but it's just such a really nice material and I could see this being washed a zillion times and not getting out of shape. I definitely right now will wear it tucked in. I like that I have the option to not tuck it in as well because it's a little more flowy around the waistline. This top from Free People, I bought this when it was still hot out because as soon as I saw it, I was like, I need to have this in my life. This is the perfect layering fall top. A little bit see-through and lacy and fishnetty looking, but I gotta say, I was completely sold on the thumb holes. I don't know, something about thumb holes and then the turtleneck. I've worn this under like a little slip dress just to make it a little warmer to wear in a little more fall with like tights and boots underneath and a leather jacket or you can just wear this with a leather jacket over the top so it's like a little bit covering but a little bit sheer as well. This is going to be a full staple layering piece for me. Another super cute little piece from Revolve, this little cami, I just couldn't resist. I have a ton of camis in my wardrobe and I've they've kind of been a staple in my wardrobe for many, many years. So when I find one that I really like that stands out, I always get it. This is kind of a multi-seasonal piece. Like obviously you'd look at that and think it's a little more summer, but I love wearing these with 
jeans, under like a leather jacket for a fall outfit, or even as I pictured it with the uh, layering kind of fishnet lace top underneath is really cute as well. This super cute crisscross neckline, cheesecloth-y looking bell-sleeved dress was just an obvious choice for me. I really like the cut of this. It's not too A-line, it just kind of, it's just flowy at the bottom, so it's not super hugging, but it's really, really comfortable. I love it with this corset belt from D'Andre made out of vegan leather so I like adding this to it just to give it a little bit of a cinch to the waist it also looks really cute without it as well if you want something a little more comfy and casual I couldn't resist this tie front kind of plunging top as well in this nice silky looking fabric. This is like a little bit sexy in the front, but it's also modest because it has this longer panel at the back, so it's covering for your butt as well. So it's not like all everything going on. And if you wanted to make it a little more modest, you could wear just like a little slip underneath it as well. So. I'm gonna take this off because I have been wearing this all day. That cape, oh my gosh, if you guys can get your hands on it from Zara, this is an absolute must have. It's so big and snug, it's seriously a second person could fit underneath it. Uh, when I went and bought it, there was only mediums left, but then when I saw it online, there was only mediums that existed, so I think it just might be one size fits all, which doesn't matter because it's such an oversized, big floppy knitted cape. Next onto shoes, I couldn't resist these over the knee faux suede boots from Misguided. I just, I love the pointed heel of these. I do have some faux suede over the knee boots, but they have more of a round toe and they're more of like a chunky kind of platform bottom. So they're a little more on the casual side, but this is definitely for more of a going out kind of heeled look as well. They have no zips, they're just a little bit elasticized at the top, but you can kind of wear them like fully up the leg or scrunched down a little bit as well. But I just really liked the silhouette of this heel, so I had to have them. These boots I bought from Disturbia and I've been wearing these a lot lately to work. I'm trying to not wear heels so much all the time and take care of my feet, but these are so, so comfortable and then they still give me a little bit of height as well. And I love the fact that you can take these O-rings off as well. So if I am wearing them to work, I usually just take that off. But if I'm wearing them and I want my style to be a little more edgy, I will pop the O-rings back on so long as I'm not wearing any other O-ring stuff because I think in one outfit you should only have one of these kind of features. So guys, I hope you liked this little fashion ball haul and I'm glad that I could finally get one together for you before fall was over. I hope you liked all of these pieces. I will leave as many links to the products down below. But as always, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys loved this video and I really do hope that I can do more lookbook videos for you because I love collecting clothes and shoes. <laughs> Thanks guys, see you later.